Hey, rebound finna hit us with another one. Hey, it's up. Hey, it's up. <laughs> we got NBA re, re, re NBA records that that'll never be broken. Oh my gosh. Long as what do you say? I edit that out. Shot in NBA <laughs> history. <laughs> he got it to the biggest loss ever. These are NBA records that'll never be broken. <sighs> First, we got a shot so impossible. Mr. B. Unbreakable record. Giddy's got to get it in. No timeouts. The ball's inbounded to Shea. Oh, this was crazy, bro. from 61 feet away making it the longest game winning buzzer beater ever damn this guy set a record in the blink of an eye and so did james on curry because this man had the shortest nba career of all damn. time see in 2010 after three years of trying to join the league james on finally got his big break signing a 10-day contract with the Ooh, i know he feels good 2010 he suited up for his first game. I didn't even know they had 10 days back then. Of an amazing career. He got cut in warm-ups? It was the end. And with 3.9 seconds left in the third quarter, Curry substituted for Chris Kamen. I think I've seen Curry's it. Curry's first ever appearance in an NBA regular season game. That single clip was his entire NBA career. Because right after, James Zahn got cut from the Clippers. A boy That's only crazy. 3.9 seconds. Even I can last <laughs> But what I can't do step to Rashid Wallace because this guy set records for being the angriest player of all time most kicks she was in the league he was a psycho he beefed with other players screamed at his teammates I mean no one was safe not even the cameraman but there was one group of people uh -huh. that Rashid really hated the refs because every time they blew the whistle he got triggered not bad <laughs> <laughs> nah, bro. Bro is a menace. <laughs> bro is a menace. No way, bro. You do this right now, bro. Yeah. I might put you in jail. to set not one, but two unbreakable records. The most technical fouls in a single season with 41. And the most total in NBA history with 29. And he doesn't even regret it. Yo. I ain't got no love for them cats. Y'all cats is out there cheating. Yeah, I'm gonna give y'all everything I got. And guess what? You gonna hear what I gotta say. I don't care about no fine. Cause mm. with me, it wasn't about the money. Cause you can't control me with the money. That's that's what they think they could do. Oh, right, I'm gonna give you a tech. Right, Go right, ahead, tech right. me. But guess what? You only got that power for 48 minutes. What about when we offer this quote and I see your ass? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, this man's still <laughs> freaking out. I got a cuss nerd, button. Just stay freaking. Because this man holds the record. Hey, look, Cal. Most kids of any NBA player. Yeah. For real? I played 13 years in the league. Yeah. What if you could do I didn't know he had a bunch of kids like faster. that. With Wix, you can edit your meta tag. Yeah. The only thing he swung around more than this baton was his. Cause Yo! This guy had 14 kids. But it was with nine different women. Nine. My God. Calvin was shooting shots on and off the court. But Steve Nash was shooting shots with his own teammates. And it led to the weirdest record in NBA history. See, in the 2000s, Nash and the Phoenix Suns had a close bond. And I mean real close. Because during one of his games, a Suns reporter noticed that Steve would high five, fist bump, and even booty slap his teammates every chance he got. Like, at an unhealthy level. So in 2009, University of California Berkeley started tracking every He's just being a good play, teammate studying his every move until eventually they Weird discovered channel. that Steve had set a record no one will ever touch Amari how many times on average do you think Nash gives you guys high fives out there or high fives we get high fives from Steve probably every after every play two three times uh play so the numbers I can't even can't even imagine my guess is probably 173 like 15 or 16 times. Fit man. Is the actual answer. 239. This man high-fived his teammates 239 times per game. And if he averaged that his That's entire crazy. career, that means in total, 
Steve gave out an insane 290,000 high fives. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. This guy's out of hand. But Baron Davis out of hand. Record was out of nowhere. Because in 2001, he hit the longest shot in NBA history. Mashburn who can run the baseline. Davis already counted on a shot attempt. Oh, yeah. Go. Count the basket. Feet at the buzzer. Man, that shot was pretty. But Charles Barkley's record is ugly. Because it got his ass embarrassed in front of millions. See, when Chuck retired, he finished his career with the worst three-point percentage ever. 26.6%. And everyone clowned him for it. But there's one man who did him the dirtiest. His inside the NBA co-host, Ernie Johnson, who, despite never playing in the NBA, has made fun of Chuck nonstop to the point where, in 2016, Charles put his foot down, challenging Ernie to a three-point contest to try and prove him wrong. But unfortunately for Chuck, this was a huge mistake. Good luck, sir. Lost to Ernie, bro. Ernie is, so you know he can shoot, bro. Alright, 2 2. Yep. Yep. Nope. Yep. Yep. He can feel that thing off the, off the muffle. He He Yep He Boink 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 We got one more rack One more rack He He Ten five I make this it's over Boink. 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 It's over, ladies and gentlemen. It's over. God damn. Ernie was cooking. But Noel Anthony was just. Oh running. my god. Uh, we got a beam on him. an unbreakable him. record for literally doing nothing. Yeah. In 2011, the Heat were taking on the Blazers. When, with four minutes left in the first quarter, Joel checked in, expecting to make his teammates proud. But instead, he played 29 minutes without recording a single stat. Zero points, zero rebounds, zero assists, got a zero blocks. Yeah, this guy was just running around and playing with himself. But 30 minutes? was playing with others. Because this man holds the record for being the biggest hoe in NBA history. Oh. See, in 2022, Ish did something that no player had ever done before. Because after being traded to the Nuggets, in what was the seventh trade of his career, he broke the all-time NBA record for oh. the most teams a player has ever played for. What do we got? All right, there it is. The Rockets, Grizzlies, Warriors, Magic, Bucks, Suns, Thunder, Pelicans, Sixers, Pistons, Wizards, and Hornets. Now, you know, look, you may not remember that Warriors stint because it was only six games. Um, but you know, there's a few of those in there. He keeps the job, man. He keeps hey, the job, keeps I'm mad at you. on the table, keeps money coming in, and he's very solid. He is. You know, he just happens to bounce around a lot. So, you know, best of luck to him on number 13. Lucky uh, 13. Uh, lucky 13. 13 different teams. This dude's passed around more than Kendall Jenner. Well, at least he didn't get his back blown out. Cause that's exactly hey, what yo. happened to the OKC Thunder. Back in December of 2021, Thunder walked onto the court and proceeded to take the biggest beat down in NBA history. Dylan Brooks got by Dort. Tough on acne. That's the biggest uh, win percentage. I mean, win difference. Now, score difference. I'm sliding there behind. Three turnovers for seven points early. Put a thumb on Tails. Tyus floats, hits Melton. Has a straight line. Oh. And he tackles the screen. Jaron, a top side three. Hit through. Jaron, another three. Out the well. Culver for three. Yeah. The Grizzlies. Tilly, a floater up. like this. Lob for Culver. It'll be an NBA. Just sad. And why is you why is you high, high five in everybody, bro? That night, 
The Thunder took the fattest L the NBA has ever seen, losing by an all-time record, 73 points. 73. Jesus, man, that should count as two L's. But Michael Jordan was counting W's, because he's had the most game-winning buzzer beaters in NBA history. Damn. Jordan to the circle, puts the shot in the air. Good! The game's over. Seconds. Jordan. He do? I mean, he probably got the most misses in the tent. That's crazy. Nine game winning buzzer beaters. Damn, this man Jordan's got the clutch gene. But he doesn't always stay winning because he's got one record left a stain on his legacy. I think my chair from the bird. Jordan you heard that? To prove on the court. So he started chasing records off of it, officially becoming the owner of the Charlotte Bobcats. And while he was hoping to turn the franchise around and possibly even win him a ring, Jordan did anything but that. Because just a couple of years later, this Bobcats went on to have the single worst season in Yo, history. Dilly, seven boy is boy stiller fan. Percent of their games. Oh. But it gets even more embarrassing. Because after that, the Bobcats had to follow, bro. so hard, Damn, he was I left can't. with no choice but to rename the team. Chris had to follow. So bad, they changed their name to the Hornets. But what really stuck was Ben Wallace's record. Cause his free throw record got him laughed off the court. See, uh, the easiest thing you can do in the NBA is hit a damn free throw. I mean, on average, players make at least 78% of them. But for some guys, the free throw line is their enemy. Like, mm. uh, Andre Drummond once missed 23 free throws in a single game. The most ever. And Shaq barely made half of his free throws, making only 52%. But this whole recorder with a typewriter. is Ben Wallace with just 41 Tracy. And this man's T is I so call bad. Bro, Tracy. It's just T Mac. Oh my gosh. Jesus, is this guy drunk? And while is that LeBron? Out, Has Rockets LeBron ever not been in the league, bro? They set an embarrassing record. That cost him a champion. I don't want to talk about it, bro. I don't want to talk about it, bro. And they would have won. Game seven of the West. Are you LeBron? Fans, they would have won the finals, bro. Cleveland wasn't messing with these these rockets right here. With, with CP3, they was not messing with. Bro, come on. They got instead was one of the biggest choke jobs in sports history. Because Houston set an all-time NBA record for the most threes in a row. Harden behind the screen. Chill, bro. And Gordon. And burn, missing 27 straight threes, being eliminated from the playoffs. Man, Houston had a big problem. Where is this guy? Wasn't he two for two in rings? Two years, two rings. Where are you at now? Overseas? Has the most Overseas trip? Records of all time. See, What's he with the Raptors? LeBron's been making NBA history since day one, becoming the first player to win finals MVP with three different teams. The only mm. player to drop 40 plus points against every single team. Mm. And how LeBron's even played an NBA record 19 straight All Star games. Mm. Yeah, the man's been king. But in 2023, he set his most unbreakable record to date, passing the one and only. <laughs> Why he look like a Grim Reaper? <laughs> NBA history. Looking for James. He's got it. Mr. Grim Reaper. Get off. Get, get off my face. Coming to the end of the third quarter. LeBron James. A shot. He had me teed this night, bro. He hit my lay, bro. I got 150 ball off his ass. I'm to my went all in. I seen what he was wearing. I said, nah, he, he, he finna go crazy. A record that has stood for nearly four years. <laughs> Why they made him sit like that? Which Kareem, <laughs> many people thought, would never be broken. Yo. LeBron, you are the NBA's 
And they did this like with 14 seconds left in the third quarter. That was like so weird, champ. That's why AD was mad. Um, you guys are one of a kind. Um, this feel like this was like a couple a years ago, career. bro. It, it means so much to me. It's very humbling. Um, please <laughs> stand an ovation to the, to the captain, please. He should have did a sky hook or whatever, a captain hook. Wife, my daughter, my two boys, for, 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 my friends, for, for the my boys, my family, my mother, all my... Man, everybody that's ever been a part of this run with me the last 20 years, 20 plus years. I just want to say so. thank you so much. Ooh. Me, y'all, all y'all help. Oh, I got to change my title, all bro. Help me get to this point. And to the NBA, to Adam Silver, to the late great David Stern, I thank you guys so much for allowing me to be David Stern died? something I've always dreamed about. And, um... I would never, ever, in a million years, uh, dream this even better. Dream? What it is tonight, so... That's a Man, word. Fuck it. Fuck it. 38,388 points and counting. That's not just unbelievable. That's unbeatable. I can do that in about like four years in my career. I'm just saying. Close to catching LeBron. I mean, Kevin Probably Durant like two for real. Points behind. I put it on Steph rookie. Curry needs another 16,000. And even if they average 30 points per game for the next five seasons, they'd still be short of LeBron's record. And the youngest that is stars, insane. like Luka or Jason Tatum and Giannis, they're even further away. Which means they'd have to outperform their career averages for the next decade plus to even come close. So, yeah, that is crazy King insane. Has the most unbreakable records of them all. That's crazy. Fun. LeBron! Has some crazy stuff going on too. Like a stadium's roof collapsing. Or a hot air balloon. I need, bro, we, we need to watch, watch this video, yeah, bro. And it gets even crazier than that. So if you want to hear more, you yeah, bro. click on this video. 20 craziest moments, bro. We got to... Hey, hey, rebound with another fucking... <laughs>